All right, this is the plane that I've been using to film my uh, HD aerial videos on. I just wanted to do a quick video about this plane. Um, to start off with, like I mentioned, this is loosely based off of Mikey's RC FPV plane. I just got the PDFs from his site. I built that plane, but I decided I wanted just a slightly different version of it with like a bigger wing, so I used those plans and just modified from there. To start off with, this is a 50-inch wing. This is a yardstick, just so you can kind of see the dimensions on it. It's 50 inch wing, 12 inch wing cord. Um, this is just foam board on here from Staples. Um, and this is half inch wall insulation board from Home Depot. I use that to make a KFM2 airfoil on here. Um, just got ailerons and a, an elevator to control it. Just goes back here. Um, basic twin boom design from Mikey's RC FPV plane. Um, the fuselage, I did make an enclosed fuselage uh, just to improve aerodynamics. I've got a couple little doors on here. Just put in the battery and whatever I want in there. Um, I made a little flat area up front here so I can sit my GoPro on here. This is where I take all the videos from. Just puts it out here in front with no, uh, no propeller in the way or anything. Let's see, the motor this is a this is a motor from Grayson Hobby. It's a 221706 1500 kV motor. This is an 8x38 prop. What's nice about this is that this at the fuselage here, it's six inches high, so this the propeller clears the ground if I'm gonna land on the ground or I can even take off. Um, so that's about it. I really like this plane, it flies great. Um, Glides really nicely. It is a it is a bit heavy, but if you want to make this out of like Depron, like nine millimeter, six millimeter, I'm sure you'd save a lot on the weight. Um, so it is a really powerful motor, but I kind of had to use that for the weight. That's it. Let me know if you guys have any more questions.